Podcasters, welcome to JH 586. I'm Jamie, and I want to come at y'all today and do a video response to uh, Lever Gun 5110. And my brother Kyle Lusk both mentioned me in their video. Uh, the one I probably use the most is this little knife right so here. It uh, comes in just a little uh, web scabbard, which uh, works fine. Uh, this is a buck. 673 made in the US of A. Can y'all see that? Well, if I can do this, there you go. The thing just balances and it just feels so good in your hand. And uh, I know this is a small knife, but look how thick that blade is, how wide it is, and it is pretty thick. But it just, uh, you got your finger grooves, and this handle is. Uh, made of material that won't slip in your hand so this is uh real good for skinning deer y'all hear my puppy dog mini and like i said none of these knives are expensive or worth anything they just mean something to me because i use them all the time and this is an old timer and it's uh what i like about this one is the gut hook i can get uh started down at the bottom and just uh stick that hook in there and just slide it right up works like a zipper baby but this one uh, this one is not I think I paid I, think I paid $15 for it but you can see it says Schrade on it I don't know if y'all picked that up but it's definitely made in China and it just does not hold an edge as well as I'm sharpening this one all the time but what I like about this knife is it's just the right size that you, of course you can use it for field dressing and then when you get the meat to the to, it works really good when you're processing out your deer. Uh, it works really good for deboning shanks and all that kind of stuff. So then I guess my favorite, it's in a suede kind of scabbard. It's got a belt loop on it. And I will wear this on my belt from time to time. Well, I'm seeing something I ain't never seen before. This one's called Old Smoky. Can y'all see that very faint inscription right there? This came from Smoky Mountain Knife Works back in the 80s. I bought this when we were on a trip up there and uh, you can see that is definitely a full tang, highly polished on the ends. It's got, uh, I don't know what kind of horns those are, what kind of handle that is, but it's uh, got brass. This is a very nice knife and, and I think I paid maybe $29 for it, but I bought it back in the 80s. On this side over here, all it says is Stainless Pakistan. I don't know if I can get that up there where y'all can see that or not. There you go. Can y'all read that? Uh, that's all it says. Old Smoky, Stainless Pakistan. But it's a very heavy knife, and with that curved blade design, it that thing will really lay the hide off the deer. I mean, that, well, you got a bigger deer you need to skin out, this one makes pretty short work of it. I got back, I got a package on my door. And this come from Mark, M-C-K. Brother, you can see, it didn't make it all the way to Rome without some scars. But let's see what we got. I got it cut open, but I hadn't looked in here. Let's see if we can get in here, see what it, lead. There's another little, little bar. Are these the one pound or the half pound? I think that's a Lee half pound. I'm not sure. There's another ingot from a muffin pan. I know that's about a pound. There's another. Buddy, this lead's gonna go to some good use. I owe Chico 100 bullets after the drawing last night. What else we got in here? Oh, wow. We got some of his cast up bullets. Check those out. Those are little semi wad cutters. Little bitty ones too. Them may be 30 cal. I'll have to check those. Maybe there's a note in here. I opened it from the bottom so y'all couldn't see his uh, so y'all couldn't see his address. We got brass. Let's see what this is. Also 270 brass. So we're all the way over the oh ooh. 
and some powder coat. I think this is, I hope this is powder coat. I hope it ain't gunpowder. Oh yeah, and look at that. That's a beautiful aquamarine color. There you can see it better on that white. Yeah, man, I'm going to be getting some of this handy right quick. All right, so we got, uh, we got 270 brass. We got some new powder coat. We've got some lead, and we've got some ready-made bullets. I bet you these are 9mm truncated cones, because he knows I've not tried those in my 9mm. That's what it looks like. I'll get it out and measure. Mark, thank you, brother. I got some stuff headed your way. As soon as I get a good day, I'm going to cast you up some of them 135 grain 30 cows. Anyway, Mark, thank you so much. Uh, oh, I've got to tag somebody for the knife thing. Uh, I want to tag Nathan, my brother from down in South Georgia. Uh, I want to tag Chico, my other Georgia brother, because he won a knife in a giveaway, and I'm dying to get a better look at that thing. And the third, but certainly not least, I want to tag Thoughts of an Old Soldier because as the short time that I've watched his videos, I've discovered that he is a knife collector. Guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope God blesses you all real good. Watch us on uh, Friday nights at 8 o'clock, the Georgia Shooters Connection live stream on my channel. Saturday night, Uncle Jim. And uh, Sunday night, seven o'clock on the crazy scotsman channel tune in for foreign and domestic and until i see you again hope god blesses y'all all real good see you soon bye